How's it, folks? Um, it's now about four o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. Today is the 11th of June, 2019. I had a very successful bow hunt this morning at Durandry Lodge and Caravan Park. Um, Louis Prigger and uh, Audrey run a, a fantastic operation there. If you guys are into a bit of biltong hunting, Definitely one of the better farms to go to. Nice host, nice accommodations. You can camp if you want as well. Um, they don't do much hunting. They do a bit of selective hunting, but get, get in touch with them. Uh, I was up in a tree stand after a pig, warthog in particular, even though that I say it was a, a, a bush pig after the time. I've had a look at the, the footage. Um, footage is excellent. Um, this video will truly showcase how fast a warthog can react and string jump an arrow. My arrows are not very fast, they move at 240 uh, feet per second and um, you know the distance to the pig was 23 yards. So flight time on that arrow is about three and a half seconds. Um, you can't see it when the video is zoomed out really far but when, the, when you zoomed in the rear camera, I had a rear camera up although I didn't get a pass through um, you can see that pig starts reacting long before that that arrow is out of the tree even. If you look carefully, you'll see that arrow flight down into that pig. So the bugger did string jump me. The shot was a, it was a good shot. Um, even though he string jumped me, I, I got lucky again. I spined this one. So I didn't have much recovery work to do. He was, he was pretty much anchored where he fell down. Um, but I think there are many benefits to using heavy arrows and uh, certainly I'm now a true fan of the two blade broadheads. Um, I thought it was going to be a mission and you know what it is a mission but you know you want to get better at these things and you want to learn from experience and uh, we must just keep improving. So you know I've been toying with heavy arrows probably for the last uh, hmm, I would guess the last 18 months or so I've been talking to a lot of people in the US because uh, you know, in South Africa, we tend to chase speed more than what we do chase chase uh, terminal force or t terminal energy and the energy that's transferred to what you're hunting. So I'm a big fan. I'm sold. I'm not going backwards. Took a lot, a lot of time to do the knock tuning, bear shaft tuning, fletch tuning, and broad edge tuning ultimately. But let me tell you, those things, they fly like darts. And uh, they did what they needed to do. So anyway, join me with this video. Um, it might be a bit graphic for those of you that are not into the graphics, but I, I just kind of wanted to put out there how important it is to see those pigs are actually able to move out of the way of the arrow. And I think it's probably a, a reason why we get a lot of wounding. So please folks, if you like my channel, it, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Leave your comments below. Tell me what you want to see and see, let me see if I can do. I'll do what I can between all my other work. But anyway, folks, uh, enjoy the show. Cheers.
So folks, we harvested this uh, bush pig this morning. Um, excellent pig. Hunt was great. We sat in the stand for about an hour and a half and the, had a little grey diker come in and four minutes after that this guy came in. He was there for about seven or eight minutes before I managed to put an arrow into him. I'm using 700 grain um, arrows, uh, silver flame uh, heads, 125 grainers. Um, and this is the reason people, we don't like these inserts these HITs of these arrows. The head has come out and the insert is still inside the pig so we have to scratch that out. If we were using a lighter arrow I don't think this pig would be down right now. Um, it was a solid smack on the bone. We got approximately um, about eight inches of penetration more or less and it was able to put this pig right down where we needed him to be.